Well, the reason that we're studying the northern map turtle is that this is the only place in Maryland, in other words, in the Susquehanna River and the immediate tributaries where this turtle is found in the entire state. And for the state of Maryland, you know, this is a unique species. This is our only true river turtle. And the mission of Towson University Biology Department, the State Department of Natural Resources, is to make sure that we have all the components of our natural ecosystems for the next century. And so that's why we're going to continue to work on what's causing declines of the northern map turtle. If you had shown me an aerial photograph of the river and said, pick out the site that's least likely to have an endangered turtle nesting in it, the area around the gas house in the middle of port deposit would have been the last place we would have suspected. We started doing a lot more research at this spot and we found out that not only were there were turtles nesting here, but the percent of nests that were actually killed by predators was actually lowest in port deposit and that a lot of the hatchlings that were actually making it to the river were coming from here in the town of port deposit. Map turtles in general are very wary while basking, so a bird could fly over or they'll see a shadow passing by and they'll shuttle back into the water. So with this being such a highly recreational area below the dam, we get lots of basking disturbances. It actually has a really large impact on the turtles because, as we like to say, reptiles are solar powered and they rely on basking for basically every biological function. What I find most interesting is a little turtle can bring such a town together in a university and the students all together working towards the same goal. The researchers and Towson University being in Port Deposit has caused quite a, quite a buzz in the town. Um, Towson has brought to the forefront the fact that we do have an endangered species living right here in Port Deposit. And so our major goal here is to rehabilitate the nesting habitat so the turtles have a safer place to nest. We're going to be putting up what we call wildlife exclusion fence, some people call it the turtle privacy fence. That's going to prevent the turtles from getting run over by trucks and prevent them from being disturbed by people. Because Port Deposit is such a small community, we don't have the ability to put the boots on the ground that are needed to move some of these projects forward. With the partnership with Towson University, students and faculty, we feel as though the future is a lot brighter here for us on Main Street.